Hello, it's Mark from Lightmap. I'm going to talk you through some of the changes uh, to the Cinema 4D connection. This is for existing customers, uh, so they can just familiarize themselves. So we've changed the terminology we use in the connection panel in Cinema 4D. Uh, I have the old one here for reference. Uh, so let's just go from the top here. We used to say that this section was renderer. We now say set renderer because basically you use this drop down to set the active renderer in Cinema 4D and then that tells HDR Light Studio what content to make when we make a new project. So the next section we used to call uh, the environment hook which is a little confusing so we've improved this to be called HDR Light Studio project. So basically uh, when you make a new one of these it is the HDR Light Studio project, it stores against it all the project data and then within that node there is the environment and any area lights you make. So it made sense to call that the HDR Light Studio project. So now instead of saying add pre-built hook, it's create new project. We used to be able to select the hook in the scene which was selecting the environment. We've actually replaced this with something more useful which is a delete active project button. Uh, so if you've made a lighting design you want to get rid of it, you can delete it. And then we have a refresh project list button, which is the same as the, the hook list. So if you uh, create several new projects, uh, you can press that button to update this list. But I also believe when you create a new project in Light Studio now, uh, it will actually update the list for you anyway. So if I just uh, do create new project, we can see that list is already populated anyway. Um, if we delete a project, we can see that that gets updated as well. So you will not need to use this button uh, as much at all. Okay, then the next section where we called it connection is now called edit project in HDR Light Studio. So basically you've made your project here and then let's edit it or start from scratch by pressing start and then we can get on with our lighting. Uh, this section here now has been renamed to light paint in Cinema 4D viewport. We used to just call that light paint uh, but it's much clearer for new users what's going on if we actually say light paint in the Cinema 4D viewports there. So that's the change in terminology. Anyone who's used this before, it is exactly the same in terms of the process. It's just new users are going to find these labels far easier to understand. We've changed Cinema 4D to use the new HDR Light Studio API, which is much faster. So you can see as I click on this view here, virtually instantly that render view updates. So I'm using Octane which is nice and fast and the Octane render is being shared into our viewport and you can see just click in you get that instant feedback way faster than the previous connection. Also if I click and I hold now and I start to drag we can actually drag the position of the light for the first time in this render view that's been shared with us and we couldn't do that before. Um, it's not as fast as our internal renderer, but to say that we're making this round trip from Light Studio to Cinema 4D to Octane and back again, uh, we're pretty pleased with the performance of that. Also, the same can be said of area lights. So if we make this light into an area light and uh, bring it in quite close, so you can see it is an area light. I'll take it away again. Uh, if we click in this view, again virtually instantaneous updates in that view now and then if I click and I drag you can see super fast updates of that area light using light paint so for both lights on the HDRI map and area lights everything is much faster with our new API we've added V-Ray 5 support now uh, I think this is probably the optimum workflow where we've got HDR Light Studio with the model loaded into our render view for light painting and then you've got the V-Ray frame buffer running inside of Cinema 4D so that's all working really well. By popular request we've updated the connection so that you can switch between Cinema 4D projects and HDR Light Studio won't close so if I just switch this project now in Cinema 4D project go to the car and you can see uh, that project is automatically loaded into HDR Light Studio uh, as you change the project and note in the top bar here 
this is set up for a different renderer so we've fixed a number of uh, small bugs to do with this that mean it all works perfectly so if I just switch now and go back to the project that's in Octane and we, we are now the, the mapping of the lighting content will be correct for Octane I'll switch back to another to the car and it's all going to be mapped for Corona so you can now swap between Cinema 4D projects and Light Studio will remain open and load your project. Okay, you'll see now another change we've made is that the HDR Light Studio panel is tabbed up here and as we move the light then the lighting updates and we used to have an issue before if you changed and it didn't have focus uh, it would not update, you'd have to have it in focus. Now with the HDR Light Studio connection tabbed and uh, not in focus you will still receive all your lighting updates from HDR Light Studio. We've improved how you can work with multiple HDR Light Studio projects inside a single Cinema 4D scene. This also works with Cinema 4D's takes system. We've added a spread control on area lights. This allows you to focus the light right through to a gobo effect where you're effectively projecting uh, the image of the light. This feature works with Redshift, Octane, Arnold and V-Ray and each renderer has their own interpretation of how this effect works uh, but we think you'll find it useful on your lighting projects when you want to focus the light more. Mm -hmm.